Whether you're new to Bitcoin or you're an experienced Bitcoin hodler, this video coming up is going to be just for you. We're going to be covering everyone's favorite topic, and that's price targets and predictions going into the 2024-2025 bull market. So let's get right to it. So if you're new to Bitcoin, one of the most important things that you should know is that Bitcoin here is essentially cyclical. Every four years, for the most part, it makes this crazy run. So I've ended up plotting a few things out for us here just so you could understand the cycle every four years or so. Uh, there's what's called the Bitcoin halving event. And after this halving event, that's pretty much where Bitcoin makes this parabolic run up. This has happened about three separate times before going into 2024, and it just happened a few months back in April. So I'll show you that in just a moment. But let's start back to the um, end of 2012. That's where the first mining Bitcoin mining halving event happened. And afterwards, for the most part, it ended up making this 10,000 percent move up over time. Uh, this lasted about 53 weeks. This is a weekly chart. So every uh, candle, every bar is one week. This lasted about one year from the halving event to the peak in this bull market. It was about one year long, but it was about a 10,000% gain up, right? Well, the next halving event took place about four years later in July of 2016. This lasted about 75 bars, about 75 weeks long from the Bitcoin mining halving event to the peak of the bull market. Now in this time, in this situation, it ended up making about a 2,800% move from the timing of the halving to the peak. Not off the low, but from the timing where the halving took place to the peak, it was about 2,808%. Um, a little less obviously from the first cycle. Now, the, the pattern will repeat here. From the next uh, Bitcoin halving event, which took place back in May of 2020, uh, well, it was about 78 weeks long from the, the timing of the halving event to the peak, which was pretty much here at this point. You could see that Bitcoin essentially made a higher high going into the end of 2021, but it failed to really continue from that point, and that signaled the peak of this bull market. Uh, in total, Bitcoin ran about 608% from the timing of the halving up to this peak. Uh, so where does that leave us to today? You know, this this last Bitcoin halving event took place, I believe, on April 20th of this calendar year. So let me actually just show you this here. This is what I'm expecting. This is not any um, mathematical proof or evidence, but based on statistics of the, the Bitcoin cycle taking longer in terms of weeks and days at a time, I just you know, made this number up, but let's just say it's 86 weeks or so, 85 to 86 or so weeks, a little bit longer than the previous cycle. Uh, you know, that would take us going into the end of 2025 for the most part, maybe the beginning of December, midway through December of 2025. Again, I'm just basing that off of a slightly larger number from here, 78 weeks long, which is slightly larger from the previous cycle, 75 and so on and so forth. This could be longer, this could be shorter, but just more or less, you're expecting a longer cycle here this time. But in this case, again, you're expecting less of a percentage increase. I'm just making this number up. I'm just shooting this number here kind of from the side, but 288%, around 300% gain up. That essentially would take Bitcoin up towards, if I'm not mistaken, right around 300,000, 260,000 per Bitcoin, which is a pretty astronomical number to even think about there. Um, but that's solely based off of just the Bitcoin bull markets that we've experienced and the cycle that we've had. I'll, I'll dig further into this super cycle process going forward. But next up, though, I really want to dig further into price targets because, uh, you know, we've seen the same pattern essentially play out here. There's something called a Fibonacci extension uh, set level, and this essentially gives you the ability to plot price targets for a stock or an asset over time. Uh, so with Bitcoin, what I'll show you here is that we have this bottom back from the end of 2011, uh, before the first halving event even. But you know, after the first halving in 2012, it took off, ran, ran up here. And after that, we fell into a bear market. This pulled back down again. So what this is doing is it's grabbing two bottoms within a range here, within a channel essentially, and the peak within it, and it creates these price targets ahead going forward into the next um, bull market, going into the next cycle. Now, what happened from here? What happened to each of these prices? Well, long story short, Bitcoin blew through each of them on the way up, and it ended up flipping a number of these lines into a support, and it 
continue to move up higher, right? Just focus on that trend. Just focus on that trend and especially the top of these Fibonacci extension levels. It blew through all of them, right? Well, that was back from 2012 going into 2015 into 16 here. The next major bull market that we had, you could say, I mean, it started later on from the, from the next halving event, but from this bottom, ran up to this top. And then the next bottom here, you know, bear market here going into the end of 2018. So based off of those prices, the two bottoms and the top in between, it actually created the next set of Fibonacci extension levels. And what happened here was, well, notice that Bitcoin going into the end of the bull market from 2021, where it peaked here at the time, it did not break over any of these levels here, the purple or the uh, red at least. It didn't make a clear break above them. It didn't flip them into a support line. It just held under it as resistance and came back down from there. Um, obviously now as we're heading into the next bull market after this having here in April of 24, it looks all but certain Bitcoin's about to blast through all time highs, break above this resistance. Likely we'll flip that into support, support coming up. But the question still remains, what are our price targets going into this bull market as we head into 2025, as we go into um, you know December even, as we hit potentially a peak there? Well, let's take a look at this because what I ended up doing was I ended up plotting the next set of Fibonacci extension levels here, this bottom, the peak here in, at the end of 2021, and then the bottom here, the bear market from November of 22. So it created a new set of levels. Now notice here something because as I head back kind of towards the uh, you know potential price range that I was projecting Bitcoin to move up towards this alleged 280, 290% move from the timing of the halving here in April of 2024. But Essentially, that aligns up pretty nicely with these red lines here with the purple, perhaps otherwise maybe a little bit less than that. But still, when you think about the previous bull markets here, this one went from you know the halving up 608, 609%. Why can't this time it move up to this 288, 290%? That doesn't seem so far out of the realm of possibility. So I'm just shooting a number kind of from the side there, but that kind of takes you right up towards you know 200,000, 250 thousand per Bitcoin. So, uh, you know, if you think that you're late on the action just yet, I don't think that you are. I think past history shows us that we're kind of just getting started here. There's a lot more to go. Now, before we finish up here briefly, uh, there is someone that I follow, actually a pretty uh, well-known person within the, the crypto, the Bitcoin specifically uh, field, uh, Plan BTC. You follow him on Twitter, 100 trillion USD. But he's been around for a little while. He predicted Bitcoin to hit like 288,000 last cycle. He was wrong. But essentially what happened was that this model ended up proving out to be true. What happened was here over the last halving events, Bitcoin broke above this flatter gray line, moved up, pulled back, again moved up, pulled back, again here, but notice each time it's breaking above the flat gray line, it's having a weaker move up off of it. It's, it's pulling back a little bit quicker. This go around, I don't know if it's gonna at least break above the, the gray line here within this pattern, but even if it doesn't, if it pulls back underneath it, holds underneath it here, this area is essentially taking us towards 300, 400,000. That's higher than the technicals are even showing us here. So I think on a more conservative level, uh, we should at least focus on these Fibonacci extension lines here, but it would not shock me to see Bitcoin blast much higher above this green one here, 146,000 to get up closer towards 200,000 and maybe even, again, the top of this area here, which would be right around 300,000, 250,000 perhaps right around there. So stay tuned. We're going to continue to make more videos much like this. Uh, follow us right on our YouTube channel here at CyberTradingU. Hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button. If you're interested in joining our live trading room, we focus on Bitcoin alongside stock equities. Go right down to the link on the banner below, uh, ctu.co forward slash trial, and we look forward to having you there.